I'm Dr. Lisa Samaritano. I am a rheumatologist at the Hospital for Special Surgery, a professor of clinical medicine at Weill Cornell Medicine, and the PI for the ACR lupus nephritis guideline. The ACR last published a guideline for the treatment of lupus nephritis about 12 years ago. And over the past several years, we have had the approval by the FDA of two new medications that improve outcomes in lupus nephritis. So in the past, the uh, recommendations were to treat with glucocorticoids or steroid medications, as well as either cyclophosphamide or mycophenolate. Um, the change that we now have is that because of these trials and the improved outcomes, we are now recommending something that we're calling triple therapy, which is the combination of steroids as well as either uh, cyclophosphamide or mycophenolate plus the addition of a third medication, one of the two new medications approved recently, uh, voclosporin or belimumab. So we really feel that this triple therapy gives patients a better chance of controlling inflammation quickly. And, and that really is the goal. We want to preserve kidney function, minimize you know, morbidity or mortality associated with kidney disease, and of course, minimize risk of medication-induced toxicities. So we, in this guideline, are recommending intravenous pulse steroid at a high dose, followed by a lower dose and more rapid taper of oral steroid. And there, uh, there's good evidence in a recent meta-analysis that this particular regimen maximizes benefit and at the same time minimizes toxicity. And we know that in the future, new therapies will be approved and we will of course update this when that happens. But as of right now, fall of 2024, these are the most up-to-date recommendations that we have. And I will just end by saying we understand however, the clinical heterogeneity that, that our patients present. And so we know that this may not be appropriate for every single patient. The other thing that we really have to acknowledge is that there are limitations for some patients in terms of access to care, to medications. And of course, if these new medications are not available to patients, then we should be using our more traditional therapies. You know, we're very mindful of that, but we do hope to encourage rheumatologists to be somewhat more aggressive in their treatment with the hope that overall, this generation now of patients who are battling lupus nephritis will have better outcomes than we have seen in past years.